again everyone um, today at Milo and I would like to share a very special book with you um, we thought that it would be fun to share this book because we had Easter coming up this weekend and we were kind of thinking that this would go along with it so um, in Miss Dunn's class we have already read um, the good egg and the Bad Seed by Jory John and P. Oswald. Today, I want to share with you The Great Eggscape. So this is another book of that collection by the same authors. This is The Great Eggscape. Howdy, I'm Shell, an egg. How's it going? It's just me today, I'm on my own. The other eggs? Where are they? Good question. The thing is, sometimes they leave the carton on weekends before the customers arrive. They escape into the store. They call it the great eggscape. Escape, eggscape, you get it. Me? I'm not really in the mood to run around. If you want to know the truth, I'd rather just sit here. I don't mind a little me time. No reason to go frolic with everybody else. I prefer adventures of the imagination. It's quite peaceful here without all the other eggs. Sure, there's a part of me that wonders what they're doing right this very moment. I have a few guesses. And there's a note on the carton that says, we are out, we'll return whenever we feel like it. Right this very moment. Wee! Yay! Ah! We look amazing! So festive! Let's play a game! Everybody pick a good hiding spot! Great idea! Shell will have to come find us. I'm behind a tomato. I'm next to the avocados. I'm blending in with the potatoes. Ha ha ha! He won't know where we are. What's so funny about that? Being a potato is serious business. Ah, this is the life. When you live in a carton with a lot of roommates, you never get much peace and quiet. So I'm going to enjoy this while it lasts. Exactly two hours, 36 minutes, and two seconds later. Hmm, nobody's back yet? Where are Clegg and Meg and Peg and Egbert and Greg and Shelby and Shelley and Sheldon and Frank and other Frank? Did I forget anybody? Anyway, they should have been home by now. These great eggscapes are usually over by lunch when everybody gets hungry. I'll just wait a few more minutes. They'll surely be home quite soon. No reason to stress. No reason to pace. No reason to get all worked up. Bung. Noon? It's noon? Morning is officially over. Okay, now I'm getting nervous. Where are my friends? Are they okay? Should I go look for them? But what if they come home while I'm away? I just don't know what to do. You can make a prediction about what you think he might do. Meanwhile, he he he, he he he, he he he, looks like they're still all hiding. They're all having a great time giggling about it. I must find them. Where do I start? Maybe in aisle one? That seems promising. Pickles, pickles, pickles. It's all pickles, sheesh. Wait, Greg, is that you? What are you doing by those pickles? Why are you painted like a galaxy in outer space? I'm hiding, but why? Why not? Well, I found you. Indeed you did, Shell. Indeed you did. Shall we look for the others? Indeed. Found you, found you, there you are, found you. Is that everybody? Line up eggs. Let's see, we have you and 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 you. That's 10 eggs plus me, which equals 11. Hmm, wait just a minute. 
Where is Meg? Has anybody seen Meg? Meg! Wait, where are you guys going? To get some lunch, Shell, then maybe take a nap. Hide and seek is tiring. Meg will turn up eventually. She always does. Eggs, halt. As the old saying goes, if a fellow egg is hiding, we must look until we find them. Or maybe that's a new saying. Anyway, we're not finished until we're all back together as a dozen. Got it? Good, let's go. Greg, search the high shelves. Peg, check the low shelves. Clegg, don't forget the middle shelves. Sheldon, look through that bag of marshmallows. Shelby, comb aisle five. Egbert, investigate aisle six. Me, I'll scour the discount aisle. Meg has got to be around here somewhere. Shell, Shell, I found a note by the cash register. It might be a clue. Well, read it, Greg. Okay, okay, you don't have to yell. If you want to find an egg, just like a pot of gold, go where things are sold in bulk and look for something bold. It was a clue, Shell. I mean, it is a clue. Indeed, Greg, indeed. Hmm. Bulk. Bold bulk. Bold bulk. Wait, I think I've got it. Follow me, eggs, to the bulk bin aisle. Onward. Wow, there are just so many bins. But which one is the right one? How would we know? Um, Shell, remember how the clue said to look for something bold? Do you think Meg is hiding in there? Of course, Peg, of course. Eggs, shoulder stack, unite. Hmm. And we see Meg giggling here in the bold coffee container. Oh, hi. I thought you were never going to find me. Nice work, Shell. Glad you found your way out of the carton for once and into the world. Thanks, Meg. But it wasn't just me. We found you as a group. And now we're back together again. Whew. You know, looking for eggs is fun. Finding eggs is more fun. But the most fun of all? A chance to frolic with your friends. Say, when's the next great eggscape? Shall we do this again tomorrow? Indeed we shall, Shell. So Milo and I want to wish you a very happy Easter and we hope that you have fun hunting on your great eggscapes too this weekend. Bye.